Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be talking about the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage um, Concealer. Um, I will give you information really quick from um, Amazon about it and then I will go from there. So it says lightweight full coverage concealer with a matte finish. Um, and it has a lot of different shades. It's supposed to be really great, yada, yada, yada. All that great stuff. I remember when this first came out, there was like this huge hype to it. And of course, you know, I was interested and I'm not really good with concealers. I think I just don't need concealer a lot. But when I was still hormonal, um, postpartum, because the next two years of your life after your son or after your child is born, your skin is going to, your body's still healing until two years. So... That whole time, my skin was really very different from what I've used to. So I was kind of like, maybe I, maybe I need a concealer. Maybe I just need to give it a chance. Um, before that, I would always buy concealer like every year. And I never knew how to use it. And then a friend of mine was like, you don't need concealer. That's why it looks off when you use it. Because you don't need it. You only use it to cover stuff. And there's nothing for you to cover. So you're putting it on there for nothing. And because there's nothing there to cover, now you look weird. So, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, concealer is one of those products that I'm always very drawn to because everybody uses it. But it always just sits there. Like, I, I barely really use it. And so, I had the chance, you know, postpartum. I'm like, oh my god, my skin is like blotchy and like une so uneven. It's gross, whatever. So, um, I got this. And I, you know, did my due diligence. I did a lot of YouTube research. I did a lot of um, reviews. I did a lot of going to the store. I did a lot of like swatch reviews and stuff like that. And then I pick the, because when you're picking a concealer, you're supposed to pick two shades lighter um, than your skin because it's supposed to combat um, a different color. So with that different color, it's a, it's combating that and it's going to try and match your skin. And usually with me, um, it's the under eyes and it was uneven like around here. So um, that's where I was trying to go. Um, just to let you know, this applies like a dream like a dream when you apply it it's so creamy and velvety and just beautiful um when you apply it, it like you're you're really thinking oh my god what a miracle this is beautiful um so i have tried this since ugh, spring or i have tried this probably about a year now and um i have a lot to say i I use this in um when my when it was summertime and that's when you're kind of oily, you know what I mean? Um so I use this, you know, in different in different weathers and different seasons. Um this caked up for me every single time. It didn't matter if I was using a um mattifier or a hydrating primer or and concealer, this would still cake up. It's really gross and it's really embarrassing because it only cakes up in like the spots that I use it with. And then just imagine you're like at a party and you're talking to people and you know they're just super nice and be polite and they don't want it to be awkward. And then you don't realize until you're like, hold on a sec, I gotta go to the washroom really quick. You go in and your face looks really gross. Um, that happened to me with this. It was so embarrassing. Like so embarrassing for me. And so, um, I didn't want to waste it and I, I would still use it, but it was just like when I was running errands, when I was bumping into people or when I was, when I knew it was a rare chance for me to bump into anyone I knew, or when I was just at home and I'm vlogging or, you know, doing my, my videos or just not at all, but I didn't want to waste it. So I just kept using it and that's why it's like, it's, it really is used. <laughs> um... I have, I have, um, combination skin. 
I have, I'm more on the dry side of, of things, especially now in the colder months. Um, but it's not like incredibly dry that I need something heavy duty. Um, I think it's just the season and our home is centralized. We do have a humidifier, but it's, it's never going to be the same as like if you're in Florida, you know? So I don't recommend this at all. Um, I would give this two out of five stars. The only thing I give it to is because it never irritated my skin. I always kind of worried because you are applying this one directly onto your skin. So I did kind of worry about that part. But it never gave me any kind of a bad rash or, or any kind of rash or breaking out or anything like that. Um, this is really great like in the first hour of applying like your skin is so beautiful and flawless and just perfect But then as time goes by it starts to cake up and it's really really gross So that's why I'm only giving it two out of five stars um I don't know anyone else. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that can um That claim that they really love it and works well for them that's their skin. It's not for my skin. I have sensitive skin. I use this hormonal and post-hormonal skin. Um, I don't, my, my biggest tackle is usually uneven skin underneath my eyes and sometimes around here, but not, not lately. Um, so that's where I used it on and I saw some YouTubers that are like makeup, you know, makeup YouTubers. So they were putting it like around their lips. So I did that too and it looked disgusting um, because it would cake up around that area. So it just, just imagine like there's a layer around my lips and that part is cakey and gross. And then the rest of my face is okay. Like it looked like that. It was so disgusting. Um, other people claim that they really love it. I don't. I don't really like this. I don't recommend this at all. However, here's the thing all the time. I would always recommend something that never really irritated my skin because everybody's skin is different. Everybody's skin is very unique. So with that said, because your skin is also a reflection of everything, everything, your environment, your food intake, your water intake, the quality of anything that you do in life, you know, the quality of air, the quality of water, the quality of, of solids that you intake, it does reflect on your skin. So with that said, everybody is just completely different. Just because someone is has dry skin doesn't mean you're both going to have the same thing. So I still do recommend you check it out. And um, if it doesn't work for you, like with me, then we're in the same boat. If it does work for you, that's awesome. Then great for you. Because if you found, because I think this is one of those products that's like a hit or miss. Um, if this works for you and it works great then great because the only problem I have with this was the cakiness everything else like if it didn't cake this is a beautiful freaking product um I think this would be really great if you maybe try if you have very very oily skin very oily skin oily combination skin that kind of situation I could see someone probably loving this in that in those kind of skin types if you have combination oily dry skin, I do I will not recommend this. If you have any kind of dry skin, oily dry combination, dry combination, dry skin, very dry skin, very very dry skin, I do not recommend this at all. It's just gonna cake. Um, I again two out of five stars, and I give it a no thumb up. Um, again recommend it just to give it a shot. Because you never know if it's going to work out for you. Just because it didn't work out for me doesn't mean it's not going to work out for you. If your biggest concern is you have sensitive skin and you're worried about the wand, I have very sensitive skin. This never made me break out. This never gave me any kind of skin issues. So I'm really, really grateful for that. I'm really thankful for that. If it didn't give me any skin issues, I think it's going to pass a lot of people out there. Just because I have that. Um, the color doesn't change. So that's great. The only really issue I have is, again, the cakiness. The color doesn't change. It is velvety smooth when you apply it. It's so easy to apply. A little bit goes a long way, so be careful with that. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's it. If you're going to use it for something else like contouring, 
just make sure you're using the right combo and i always always have skin products underneath my makeup and it still made me cake so just watch out for that and i also do use uh i have used a, a dewy um primer um a hydrating primer and hydrating um spray after and i usually spray you know a lot during the day you know every few hours and it's so cake so just be aware of that um any questions suggestions anything in regards to this product you just want to chit chat you have any questions for me let me know down below um all my social media accounts are down below so if you want to connect it's down below and if you haven't yet i hope you give me a thumbs up and of course hit the bell and the subscription um, the subscribe button if you haven't yet as well. Thanks guys and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.